We all go a little mad sometimes. Be afraid. Be very afraid. They're here. Hola, como estas? That's your now. Fuck it. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> uh, hello. If anybody's seen season three of Twin Peaks. Um, yeah. I'm so, Lee. And I. Yeah. I'm over here. You go ahead. And I'm there. And you're here. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, that was like a revelation moment. We were like, oh shit, we should write that down. Yeah. We need to use that. We should trademark that, really. Yeah. Seriously. Um, you're listening to The Slab, a oh. topic discussion episode where we probe, postulate, and... Something else beginning with P. Something else beginning with P. <laughs> a topic of your choice. And you know what? I just, I keep selecting the good ones, because y'all just keep choosing my topic, which is great. Because today... Three weeks we... in a row. Grow up. <laughs> I can be vengeful if I want to. Because today... We... Oh, so you admit that I win. So you have to you have to avenge something. <laughs> I am avenging the fact I that I win. I'm avenging the fact that we had Queer History Month and Yeah, no Nathan, I'm sorry month. my people died. <laughs> of all of human history, everyone has died. No one has ever lived. <laughs> I mean Do you guys have straight history month? It's the rest of the year. Yeah. <laughs> So today we were talking about a topic that I have wanted to talk about for a very long time. And I'm so happy, so, so happy that you guys chose it. It's stupid decisions in horror. Mm -hmm. Have you ever looked, do you ever remember a moment looking at the TV and thinking, like screaming shit at the TV going like, why the fuck did you do that? Why? Yeah. That's literally the stupidest thing I've ever seen on screen. Very definitely. But I like again, I think well not even again. You guys weren't here for that. Um <laughs> once again. No, for <laughs> I think that like horror movies, uh, in part, mm-hmm. uh, somewhat rely on stupid decisions or people Agreed. not thinking rationally in the moment, you know? Yeah. Um but yeah, I, I feel like that's kind of part of the whole horror experience. Is yeah. the, like, you know, I, my mind always goes to Brenda and Scary Movie. Like, Don't go right there! You know? Yeah. Just like screaming at the screen, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's like what makes horror fun. It's but some like, scurry shit! <laughs> yeah. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I think like that's kind of like what it's makes. Just looking at that really. <laughs> <laughs> that spike. <laughs> I think that's what makes horror fun, though, is the kind of, like, being able to look at it from an outside perspective and Mm -hmm. have the, like, like, the whole, like, hindsight thing. Hindsight is twenty twenty, but not if you're being chased by somebody. True, true. I mean, I said this earlier, it was about the fact that, like, um, if, if there was smart decisions, we will get to it, like, if there were smart decisions all the time, you wouldn't kind of have a consistent horror movie in general, because Mm. you need those... Uh, quick, you know, almost real time events where like, are you going to do A or B and they choose B, it's the wrong decision and it gets them killed. It's yeah. the only way that you can go about having a horror film that would continue a storyline, I guess, or a plot. Uh, it's it's like almost like each death is almost a plot device in a film in a way. So Well, yeah, you know, I'm like, I we need kind of like for, I feel like the direction we're going to go in, in today, like mm. where I don't feel like we're going to get a lot of like supernatural shit because I feel like that's kind no. of things that like um, are like outside of the like no matter what you choose you're fucked yeah you're fucked you know yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, if yeah. something can just unlock doors or if something can just uh, materialize walls, in a room yeah. exactly you're kind of fucked but like poltergeist all that you know but I think like uh, I, I think I'm going to bring up Scream a lot today because they kind of very much so go into and challenge a lot of these rules and then subvert them to show that like sometimes they win sometimes sh- they don't yeah. you know um, but yeah I tend to think, like, some of the most frustrating decisions come in the heat of horror movie moments. Uh Like, um, you know, you have a lot of these kind of, as I said, like, the kind of, um, you know, know, Resident Evil, like, quick time, hold the button, press this, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. It's very much that. And, like, how else would you get to see such vibrant entertainment without being able to shout about like you know 
that would never happen to us because yeah, like we kinda need, we're the like, smart ones we kinda need but it's only because we're looking at it you know yeah. what I mean like we wouldn't it, it's like you had to be there to you know decide what to do but like same thing as like uh, Laurie Strode getting into the the, 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 the closet yeah. and like, like why 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 would you do but that but then also it's kind of like but where the fuck else is she gonna go mm-hmm. this isn't Texas Chainsaw ain't nobody jumping out windows and yeah. shit you know, you're going to land on somebody's Harris, fucking lawn. Glass. Yeah, for real. And then every other fucking female in every yeah. other Texas Chainsaw movie jumps out of a fucking window. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I think, like, that's typically why people are like, oh, like, the final girl or whoever it is is, like, the smartest, you know? Because they're kind of the ones that have the, the hindsight. Mm-hmm. Because they've had a, a, the string of murders, whatever it is. So they are kind of having the rules established for them the same way we are. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, like, again, Drew Barrymore... Didn't nobody know there was a fucking killer in um, fucking Woodsboro at that time. So she wasn't expecting nothing. Mm -hmm. But then by the time you get to the end, Sydney's on her lookout. Shit is going down already, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, I feel like we identify a whole lot with main characters. Not just because they're main characters, but because, like, they are typically thinking how the audience would think. Yes. You know, they have their little bit of hindsight, you know? Yeah. I mean, we talked about it uh, last week with uh, Your Next. Mm -hmm. It was the fact that we were so unsuspecting with uh make sure that bitch is dead exactly like she like didn't just double tap she quadruple tap she you know she made head jam she yeah mm-hmm. she made she made jam out of brains yeah <laughs> um but also like she took immediate charge of the situation she immediately said i'm gonna go upstairs gonna lock all the doors lock all the windows mm. uh and i think even you said sydney did it in was the screen two or something in the first scream she locks um she locks all of her doors. This is like the first attack on Sydney. She locks all her doors after kind of calling the bluff and going out and checking everywhere. Mm-hmm. And then she's chased from immediately behind where literally the thing is the front door, the killer behind her or the stairs on her left. And she goes for the front door. Mm-hmm. She immediately tries to leave. But they're all locked because she double, triple locked her house. Yeah. And then she's kind of forced to go up the stairs because yeah. there's kind of nowhere else to go. But she's smart and she fights back. You yeah. know, she throws, I think she throws, like, the plant and um, then does she her door. a bike down the stairs or is that Buffy from <laughs> Yeah, that's the in the second movie. movie. Yeah. And then I think, like, in Scary Movie, it's, like, her grandma and a uh, piano yeah. and a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also love in Scream, all the killers in those movies just take beating. Oh, they really do. Um, what's her name? Tate? From Tatum, she when throws she, the bottles. Bottles. And shit. She like nails them in the in the With willy. the fridge door and I shit. Love in it. the willy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't. I couldn't say it like without dick. Like that she cock. wails on him and like he. C-A-W-L-K. She does something where like he ends up back flipping and like smacking his head off the stairs and then she tries to run for the cat. And door. that's the thing. It's like it makes sense because these people aren't a Michael Myers or a Jason. Yeah, yeah. They're your classmate mm-hmm. there's somebody your age probably your build you know but um that's a great example of a stupid idea why would you go through the dog door yeah you're rose mcgowan you got these huge sets of tits and these nice white hips <laughs> why are you human chair of the week rose mcgowan um <laughs> <laughs> why would you try and get through the doggy door yeah so this is actually something i was going to bring up is how most of the time, like, you immediately, like, I don't know, I even have this written down. So her, her death, her, the way she Tatum. dies. Yeah, yeah. How she, how she, uh, Tatum, yeah. Uh, well, I called her Tate earlier, sorry. Uh, Same thing. The way, the way she dies is honestly the most ridiculous, specifically because where she is at the time of, uh, throwing the bottles at mm-hmm. the murderer, whichever one. I think it was Billy. He, she was probably with. Uh, oh, Although I'm not yeah, sure. It is Billy. It is it Billy. Like when a... he like falls, like you can hear the groans, uh, and it does sound yeah. like him. Well, it literally is Billy because Stu was at the party with everybody. Yes. And then um, there's kind of a time break, and Stu appears at the front door. Yes. You know, or Billy appears at the front door. So but like she's standing him. right there because. Obviously, the killer like ends up like pressing the button by yeah. the door. She walks right up to she him. Walks she tries right to wipe her, yeah. but she thinks it's Randy up until that point, you know. Mm. But um, no, but what I mean is like when he does like, however he, I don't know whether he slips or trips over her or something, and then yeah. he backflips. But like she has the time to literally press that button over him to get out from the door, but she doesn't. She slides doesn't, along the ground and crawls just walk to the cat out that door. door. It's just ridiculous. Like the garage door is right there. Like why and she would you do that? She chooses to try and open the like the actual like 
mm-hmm. garage door, not mm-hmm. the garage door, like, into the house. Yeah. I don't know. But again, I think, like, uh, see, it's weird. We're looking at it in kind of the, like, the analytic rule. way. Yeah. But, like, in these movies, we kind of need lambs to slaughter. We kind of need people to do stupid shit. Or, mm. but, you know, again, it's like, I, I'm i not in that situation. And so, well, well speaking of later. you being in a situation, uh-huh. a strange noise up the stairs means running straight out the front door and not staying in the house. Uh-huh i.e. your next last week because uh-huh. we literally did have I think it was several bumps upstairs and no one did anything about it they didn't were yeah, like a whole scene. oh someone there but um let's even the mother it's the mother was like the mother was like there's someone upstairs let's I heard somebody go somebody running around upstairs yeah. yeah but you also had a similar experience oh god okay I'm putting the go for it. on for this get it get it girl smash it so I came home actually okay this is like kind of a uh, like a part of like True a slightly longer story. story. Oh, for real, this creeped me out. And like, I'm not a dumb bitch. Like, I like did what needed to be done. <laughs> he did what needed to be done. You did the right decision in this horror movie. I've seen enough movies. Mm-hmm. You know, I would live to the end. But um, I was down in my kitchen one Take night. Take a sip of coffee, too. Get the tea. Yeah. Get the tea, girl. Look either. <laughs> Wetting those lips. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so one of the nights I was down in my kitchen like four in the morning making mushroom soup as you do um, and there was a knock on my back door and I oh. I immediately like but it was like late and I was like okay and it was like a proper like and I have like glass doors at the back yeah. so I grabbed two of the biggest knives in my house because I'm like I'm not about to fucking you know just let this pass and then I did let it pass um, actually no I lie I went out for a cigarette and then I was like Went back upstairs to bed. But then, like, two weeks later, I came home, probably, like, 10 o'clock at night. Nobody's home just yet. And I go into the kitchen. Back doors are wide open. Oof. Like, wide the fuck. Yeah. And this is, like, it's, like, winter. It's, like, not even summer. So, like, yeah. if it had been, like, this, like, I would have been, like, oh, the grandparents left, left it open the for the dogs yeah. or some shit like that. No. Wide open. I call my nanny as I'm walking out the front door. And I stayed out the front door. I didn't even stay near the door. I stayed out in the middle of my garden until everybody came home. Mm-hmm. And then when everybody came home, I said, okay, I'm going to go check every single house, in the, like every single room in the house. And mm-hmm. I did. And nobody was there. But like, I'm not going to lie. That shit might have gone differently if I wasn't such a horror movie yeah. person. Yeah. I immediately left the front door. Mm-hmm. You know, didn't have any time. Took the dogs with me and shit like that. You know, yeah. always grab your dog. I mean, like I've seen... <clears throat> I've seen now way too many times where like I've heard stories of, I think you even said it earlier it's like I, you, we've heard stories of people like living in people's attics people living in the crawl space the crawl spaces yes uh, like you look at them and you just go um, okay I'll just uh, remove myself from the situation yeah. literally and you know I'm gonna call the cops <laughs> But for I always had the thing of like okay if I was ever in a little situation like that I would smash every window oh my god I would make as much noise as possible yeah. like break tables break chairs break whatever it is to draw attention to myself yeah or honestly Scream go fire. the go the lorry uh, Strode route and run around my street like a fucking lunatic and have people <laughs> come out to me you know mm. like just cause a fucking ruckus cause any kind of attention to yourself yeah because that's one thing that I feel like people don't do enough in horror movies is like actively shout and like make a ruckus mm-hmm. make get call for help get as much attention as physically possible yeah for real yeah you know, just make a fucking scene mm. well speaking of like making a scene here's another really dumb Action. decision <clears throat> here's another really dumb decision <laughs> in movies that always irked me is splitting up yeah if you have a like again here's the whole like uh we're, we're not going to go in like mainly kind of a supernatural route it's more kind of the slasher route kind of yeah. thing that we always think of so like i.e jason uh scream yeah. all of that kind of thing Text and that Chainsaw. all leads back to like scooby-doo the idea of splitting yeah. up and people being like why would we fucking split up yeah because daphne and fred want to go and deal each other yeah because like the whole point <laughs> yeah they were always like daphne's with me um and like you would just literally be like but you're literally giving the killer the opportunity for easy pickings guess what's hard to kill five people at once mm-hmm. guess what's really easy to mm-hmm. kill one person alone in a basement with mm-hmm. no lights on yeah it just it just irked the shit out of me like if you <laughs> if we were like you me our friend group or something yeah. something was going down in a gaff the last thing I would want to hear anyone saying is let's split up and see what that you noise you can was. go on your own you know what? Yeah, you go. I'm you leaving. go, you stay there. We I will all, stay with everyone. <laughs> yeah, us big group of eight people, yeah. we're leaving. Mm-hmm. You can go upstairs and search the fucking attic from the yeah. name I called you up there. Because that's a one-way ticket to, to Deadville. Uh-huh. That's literally a one-way ticket. 
you know you're going to go you go up to that attic you know all extra style one candle flame blows up then all of a sudden boom there's an arrow in your head you, you know and someone's pulling out your eyeball to run. chew on it you know yeah, for a, i the final girl i'm gonna find you hung up in a closet somewhere eyes gouged, or eyes gouged out you know you're gonna yeah. be fucked or you're gonna go down to the basement find a guy sitting in the corner not answering you and then you get whacked over the back of the head by for possibly him. the other guy <laughs> you know it's it's just it's honestly if anything it's honestly the stupidest is the if not the most stupid decision that you yeah. could possibly do and like that kind of stuff i feel like well sometimes in slashers i've been, oh God, i don't want to like i don't want to just keep going back to scream because i want that episode to be like yeah to, like really like juicy when we have it yeah but like a lot of the times in those movies it's like there is a killer within the group you yes. know and it's like okay let's let's split it up yeah you know or let's whatever and i like i kind of that's a smart decision on the part of the killer yeah. you know and it's like sometimes in movies like um you kind of depend on the killer being like a little bit like stupid but mm-hmm. it's like in situations like that um like the what door am i at there's two killers like she's yeah. fucked either way it's mm-hmm. just a game you know mm-hmm. i always find that so much more sinister yes where it's like okay we're going to give you like the option of freedom yeah you know or the option of or like the illusion of hope of escape you yeah. know it's fucked well, I always think the other kind of like stupid decision, well, I don't want to say a stupid decision, but just a decision that always kind of irked me was uh, having sex while, uh, you know, there's a killer on the loose. Like mm-hmm. suddenly, like, w- are you suddenly getting horny because you found your, you know, best friend's body in the next room? Like, what's going on here? People want to like, fuck, but like, it's dumb. You got to be, you got to be at your like wits, you know, you got to be, yeah. you got to be on the lookout. Yeah. It's the last thing I'm thinking about doing when, yeah, like two of my friends have already died and now we're at a barn party or some shit, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, and you just want to get your rocks off. Like, you know, all of a sudden, like, Group from... sex is fine because everybody's around. It's an orgy. It's it's uh, a party. It's a party. But don't split off. Never, Again, it's, ever. it's another, it's another extension of the You're going into the, the woods over, over there or you're going into your friend's car over there. You know good and goddamn well they're not coming back. No. It's the same thing that, um... What's his name says in screen. We keep referencing that, but it's it's well, kind it's of like the fourth wall breaking kind of thing. It's, it's telling you what of... not to do because they yeah. are stupid decisions. They're setting up the rules. I'll be right back. You never say that because you know you're not going to fucking be back. Even though he was the killer, but then he also died. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm talking about the guy who says who sets up the. Oh yeah, but then Stu goes, "I'll be right back," and yeah, then he yeah, goes yeah. out. But then yeah. he does die yeah, later yeah. on in the movie. It's true. It's true. Had he know. said that, would Sydney have thrown the TV on his head? Not sure. He was technically killed by Michael Myers in a cool way because Michael Myers was on screen when the TV got punched on his head. Oh my God! There's there's another fourth wall break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that though. That whole scene is scored to the like finale of Halloween. It's great. It's great. Yeah. And not so, plagiarism at all. <laughs> I kind of <laughs> learn it well, guys. It's an homage, and and homage. you will survive. You know. Mm. And then there's this whole, uh, you know, aspect of um, uh, having not weapons, but like having something to defend yourself with. You no, know, something good enough to defend yourself with. Like, like me, I think of grab the two the, biggest knives in my house. Yeah, like I mean, think of the room that you're in right now. Guitar, guitar. Then somebody. The stone Buddha that we have over there, you know, like Alexa, <laughs> Alexa, just smashing <laughs> someone's face into that. Yeah, I mean, like jumping out of here, you can literally slide down at, into the bathroom window from there. I'm not There's afraid so to jam my things. thumbs into your eyes. Yeah. I'm not afraid to blind you. Yeah. I'm not afraid to bite your fucking neck out, a la mm-hmm. Walking Dead. You know, and I think I think you're about to get into this, the idea of a double tap. But it's like, yeah. okay, you like I, I even said this to you last week. I'm going to at least cut your Achilles tendons. Mm-hmm. I'm going to at least break your legs. You're going to disable them in some way. Because I understand the idea of like killing somebody, like actively making sure someone is dead yeah. is kind of like, you don't know. Like, I guess it's a fight or flight thing. You don't know whether you're going to do it in the moment. you got adrenaline running through you and all this kind of shit like that. And I know I have to be filled with adrenaline when I kill. But, um... Because <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I'm gonna at least break your legs. I definitely tie you up or something. Uh, I I would just I I like I just said I would just double tap the fuck out of them. I would go full on Aaron from your next and just turn your brain into jelly. I really I love would. that in that scene that they're both kind of like 
Oh fuck! Oh god! Jesus <laughs> Christ, bro! Yeah, yeah it's it's like I think he's dead. He's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> No, I definitely like I would pick up this mic and just use the end of it and bash the brains out or or like go full chun li, lift the leg all the way up. Yeah. And, uh death proof. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Just break the full face on. In. Yeah. Like cave in face. I'm I am making sure you are dead. I'm not gonna walk away and allow myself to find out if I'm ever in a sequel to find out that you're still alive. Oh, I no. will not allow that to happen. It better be somebody ever. obsessed with the work that you did in the first movie that's coming after yeah. you. You better not be in the fucking second movie. Exactly. Beach. Exactly. It you better be your mom walk that away. left your dad and went on to create a fake persona yeah. to meet up with somebody called Mickey and to fuck me over in college. <laughs> Another screen reference. Oh, it's just, it's very true. I, like, I better not, like, I would not, I would not in any way, shape or form just like, you know, hit them over the head with something and then sit down and like think, oh, thank God it's finally over and do a whole, um, drop your weapon and run away. Drop the weapon, run away. That's another Drop the thing weapon in the room with the killer as well. Yes, exactly. Like just because your fucking shotgun has no more bullets, does it mean you can't literally take the back of that fucking yeah, thing and but bash someone's dead. head? Yeah. Like, do not ever drop a weapon that you think. Same thing as like, uh, I think it actually happened in your next where they several times where people dropped uh, like hammers or knives or something, uh, you know, and, and they just kind of walked away. And I'm like, like nobody why? keeps a consistent Why did you do weapon? that? Yeah. You know, I'm going to put a hammer or whatever it is into the fucking, the waistline of my yeah. thing and keep it on me. Yeah. You know, keep a screwdriver least, in, your, in your shoe. Yeah, keep, I was just about to say that screwdriver in the shoe, knife in the pocket, something to be able to literally whip out and just be like, this guy is strangling me. I'm going to whip it out and stab him a few times while he's on top of me trying to kill me. And my thing you is, know? I always hate when people, yeah, like that, when people are getting strangled or some shit like that. Why are you holding his hands? Get your fucking thumbs and jam them into his eyes. Yeah. Like something like that, full or driver. Get around, get, around get, fi- get your fist and fucking punch him in the throat something like that you yeah know, full L driver. System. what did you say to pie may to make him snatch at your <laughs> you know just like do something like that because again like she's not dead at the end of kill bill too yeah she's just blind and there's also a very big possibility of um of that of her coming back so i I'm want told. it so bad because like daryl hannah is still daryl hannah she mm-hmm. still looks fucking great mm-hmm. and fucking uh get zendaya back as Nikki, you know, yeah. I think that would Nikia. be yeah, I think that would be a great fucking Quentin Tarantino. If you're listening, I know you are. Um... You're a big friend, we know. <laughs> yeah, just make Kill Bill Volume Three. Why not? I don't leave it open ended. And also, you could. You always said that Volumes One and Two was just part of one film of your. I think you said he's going to make ten films. Yeah, so yeah, like, like that only counts as one movie. Volume just Three, you two. could just part make part of that. So like, you're literally skateboarding yourself. You're yeah. totally fine. Um, so I have a few examples Uh of stupid decisions Uh and I want you to tell me how you would react in this situation. So this is going to be fun. Here we go. Get out your popcorn. Survival quiz. Okay. So Pan's Labyrinth. Okay. Okay. You have been told by the fawn, Mm. don't fucking eat shit off this table or some bad shit would happen. Yeah. You know, in that scene, Ophelia eats two big juicy ass motherfuckers. Like a fucking idiot. Yeah. Like a fucking idiot, even with the, with, with the fairies and her. Uh, what would you do in this situation? Do what I'm fucking told. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> here's the one thing you specifically need to do to not fucking die. And yeah. fuck shit up for everybody else. Don't eat out for the fucking table. Was you even that hungry? Or did you just want it because it looked good? Well, you see, here's the funny thing, right? You could almost defend the decision because just before that, when she's sent to bed, she's sent to bed hungry. Okay. And she's also living in Franco, Spain. So... So what, bro? <laughs> okay, and... me as me now. Like, not me as, like, a fucking, like, little 12-year-old uh-huh. or whatever. Me as me now, I would put up with that and just <laughs> figure it out. But seriously, though, I hate when people do that shit where it's like, like, Eve... What's your fucking problem? I fucking told you not to eat that shit, bro. Yeah. I know you just fucked it up for everybody. <laughs> okay, okay. Like, when somebody gives you a very, very specific, like, mm-hmm. rule, just, like, just don't do this one thing. Mm-hmm. Don't do this one thing. And then you do it, you're asking for it. Here's also another example of that. Uh-huh. Evil Dead. Okay. Reading the enchantments to wake up the dead eyes. Oh! Because <laughs> I, I don't... I'm not going to lie. If I found it like a uh, Kandarian dagger on a fucking thing, yeah. I would take that shit. You know? Um, 
I also can't read Latin now. Clatu. Verata. Verata. But for real, I am. Oh God. Who am I in this situation now? Oh, you am are. I Bruce Campbell? You are the moron that reads the book. Oh fuck. Okay, I was. You're gonna literally say. the moron that reads the part that says "Do not open and do not read aloud." I don't know. I do kind of anything for Bruce Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> all right fair enough fair enough okay here's also, like one. he's still around you know he's fine uh i have just what we just did there two weeks ago uh-huh. jaws okay okay so situation is you're being told you're the sheriff i'm the sheriff and you're being told by the mayor mayor vaughn mayor vaughn uh-huh. that we need we need to keep this place open even I'm, though the shark attack me mm-hmm. i'm going above the police i'm calling the fbi mm-hmm. this dude is fucking fishy as fuck mm-hmm. and then the fbi would find out that he's connected to the mafia and then they would arrest his ass and be able to like go about also in my head i'm like yeah but it's an animal it's gonna eat shit you mm-hmm. know what i mean we're not supposed to go in the water you're mm-hmm. doing this shit for recreation i mean Ask stupid questions, get stupid answers. True. You know? Or no, true. what is it? Um, play stupid games, get stupid prizes. Mm-hmm. You know, like I, like I, I think we even said in the thing. I was like, there, ha- there's a certain amount of risk in swimming in the ocean. Anyway, you of have course. to know this. Yeah. You know, but like, there's risk in nature. You know, you go to the forest, you might get eaten by a bear. I wouldn't then think that like, oh, it's personal. This shark just hates us. Mm-hmm. You know. Also, fuck capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> I would move out to the countryside, start a little commune, no sharks, um, no Mayor Vaughn. You know. We're speciesist here on For their a, here podcast. I would keep, <laughs> I, I would keep my fucking ass out of the water. I'd build a pool. Build a pool. With lots of chlorine, no for salt. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I definitely agree with you. But also, uh, I think you said it on that actual episode that shark attacks count for what less than six deaths. More people get killed by vending machines yeah. a year than shark attacks do. Yeah. So, like, I mean, it's 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 not a regular occurrence. It's not a thing. But however, I mean, like, of course. I mean, like, it's a movie. This shark was like yeah. sticking around. Yeah, yeah. But like, again, it's like. This shit fucking happens, you know? But also, looking at the kind of, like, geography of uh, the Amity beaches or whatever like that, the estuary is here, the ocean is there. Block off the estuary. Yeah. And just have that be the beach Because that's obviously his gateway. Yeah, have, it be, out, have yeah. it be a little lake, you yeah. know? And then everybody can still swim and you don't have to fucking kill a shark mm-hmm. or give Quint 10 grand, which in today's money is, like, fucking 60 billion euro, <laughs> thanks to inflation. <laughs> I'll catch him and kill him for 10. Okay. <laughs> saw Allison's hands with the neurotoxin what and the fucking idiot box. this is one of the only ones that I actually had like as like a real prime example of like that was idiocracy stupid as yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. break the glass and take the fucking thing out of there how would they break it how would you with break my it? fist <laughs> why the fuck would you ever do if you put like okay look I understand her putting one hand up and being like oh fuck yeah. I would get my second hand and slide it in. Push this little piece out and pull my hand out mm-hmm. and go, yo, everybody, there's antidote. No, actually, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call everybody and go, yo, there's antidote over here. Mm-hmm. You know, also, I don't have a fucking tourniquet or I'm not going to be fucking just injecting myself with some fucking whatever, whatever it is. You know, but um, you could also have her make an argument for the fact that obviously, like, they're breathing in the neurotoxin that's making them yeah. a little bit more stupid. However, break the glass. Yeah. Yeah, like you could I would do, take you off could my make shoe. a huge argument for just literally smashing the shit out of it and taking it. Yeah, for yeah. real. I would take I wouldn't be whoever fucking threw Amanda into the fucking pit of needles. Mm-hmm. Which is a great scene. Yes. Like, and like a day oh. they worked so fuck like okay, usually we'd kind of like always give our like dues to like practicals and stuff like this. But like watching them, like they were all real syringes that they had to go and like put fake like needle tips in yeah. and just fill literally like a like a pit. And like, just, oh, it was so good. I love that scene. Yeah. But um, yeah, I wouldn't have fucking thrown one of like six people who's gonna help me survive into a pit of needles. I mean, it worked. Yeah. And she got the little whatever. But this one chick, just why? Like, yeah. even watched that like as a kid. I remember being like, why would you not just push Slide one of these hand. panels yeah. and then take the hand out? You know. <laughs> and if it's at the end, like it's not even worth it because she bleeds out after yeah. spilling like the whole vial. I also wouldn't pick up the syringe like this and yeah. pull out the fucking thing. Yeah. What a fucking idiot. But with <laughs> Saw, I feel like those are like... Oh, 
it, John Kramer might as well be like a supernatural because I'm like, okay, how did you plan for this situation? <laughs> There's no way you could have like, you're dead. <laughs> yeah. He dies in the third movie. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm like, there's no way you could have planned for like this cop to also go rogue at the same time to mm. then kill the cop that you knew was going to go rogue and then... And you were testing everyone the whole time, yeah. Oh, peace me off. And some of his reasonings are crazy. It's like, you killed my nephew. And you made me have cancer, and then it's like, <laughs> and then the other, and then like further along, the reasons are so weak. Where it's like, you used to hate your husband, and now I'm gonna <laughs> fucking put you in a blender or whatever the fuck it is. I don't fucking know. There's also um, a scene I have to mention it from the first one where it's literally like the absolute stupidest part that I was always looking at it, going like, why didn't you just do this? So it's the scene at the end. Of, it's the first movie. Yeah. The OG original uh, sitting in the room with your foot attached to a chain and a, ch- and a saw a, a, a title uh-huh. um, and a, what what he does is a jigsaw uh, like that. yeah mm-hmm. he literally um, there's a phone uh, his phone finally gets reception and it starts ringing yeah. however the problem is he just had a fight with Lee Wanell's character mm-hmm. and the phone gets tossed across the room and he can't reach it because he's obviously chained to the, to the yeah. wall or the pipe or whatever uh, and he he can't reach it. So what does he do? He decides to saw off his leg to get to the phone. However, had he phone. just used the saw yeah. to pick up the phone, he could have just literally and dragged it across. And it, it irked no the fucking shit out of me. I was like, you literally have it in your hand, dude. Yeah, there are certain situations like that in that movie where I'm like, take the metal handle off the saw and yeah. smash the lock, whatever it is, mm-hmm. out of the tile wall yeah or oh, oh even at the start i think literally the first shot of that movie is a key going down a drain yes with a light attached to it but then in my head i'm like jigsaw is like um i, I don't i'm not a killer or whatever like that it's mm-hmm. like no but you poisoned a bunch of people yeah and you kidnap people and put them in a room full of barbed wire and like <laughs> fuel and shit like that you know you literally put death traps around people's heads of exactly. course exactly <laughs> and it's like there is some saw traps that i'm like okay they the pendulum of out. death. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, how the fuck is that guy supposed to... I think it's The guy five, that's head literally gets just twisted like, all the way around. Oh, the Christ shit where he gets yeah. all twisted. But there's one guy, I think it, I think it might be Saw 3D, where... Um, I don't know, God, those movies are so stupid. Yeah, they Where really he's are. literally, like, chained and, like, padlocked into a table with literally just the pendulum just yeah. going over. And it's like, what was he supposed to do there? You know, I suppose, like, the option to crush your hands or whatever are there. But, like, I would just crush my hands. Oh, like people yeah. have survived like I think it's Saw 6 where there's like uh, well what's her name survives and she becomes the next Amanda Jigsaw. yeah Amanda, she survives yeah. Um, but then in Saw 6 there's like a help group of people who have like survived Jigsaw traps it's like a like a support group or whatever like that yeah. and Tanidra Howard from um, did you ever watch the show Scream Queens on yes. MTV yes. where she got to like win uh-huh. I, that's all on YouTube by the way all of them episodes are on YouTube really? yeah I only watched them a couple of months ago again oh. um, she like chopped the fuck out of her arm like I think she, it was her and like a fat guy and he's mm-hmm. like slicing off like pieces of his stomach or whatever like that and I'm like take the foot yeah but she also went straight for arm I'm like take the fucking leg take the leg <laughs> Yeah, 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 the leg has got like one big bone you gotta like smash through also like I would rather have one leg than, than one arm. lose arms yeah, yeah fuck that true. shit okay well here's a really <laughs> on topic one right 28 weeks later he makes out with her even though he knows she's contaminated I kill myself no joke if it comes like, to a zombie apocalypse yeah. shit especially 28 days later zombies kill myself mm. or just let myself die yeah it's just like I mean, this this is one of those situations where no one forced him into doing it. There's no, like, there's nothing bad going on. He just knows that she is, she does, she is carrying the She's virus. Carrier. yeah. And, like, it literally says so because on the, in the room, it's adjacent to that with the big window. It literally has on the computer saying, like, you know, the levels of the virus, yeah. how it's in her saliva and everything. What does he do? Make Walks in and he fucking... He tries to get to third base with her. Straight people, what can I say? Oh my god, like, and literally causes... It all to happen. The epidemic again. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, like, I just got so aggravated. I was like, but you know, 
you literally know. Like you deniers and your quote unquote antibodies. But also, I think like it may just be like the guilt trip of literally leaving her to die. Okay, what do you think about what do you think about that decision? Because I like I don't. Oh, I would have done it. I would have done it. I would have done that. I would have been like, peace the fuck out. I'm going. Like there's certain situations where it's like you're already dead. Yes. Like you're already you know. Yeah. You know. But like I when it okay if this is like a George if this is like a George David Romero zombie, we no fuck problem. them up. We go out with a bat and just yeah. fuck some people up. Yeah, and I mean they win in numbers. Is, yeah, exactly. But these guys, one of them could fucking kill you immediately. One of them could kill you just and by dropping a bit of blood on you. Yeah, and it's I think it's what is it like within like thirty seconds or something? Well, like you're Brendan dead. Gleeson in and the then first you're, movie, <sighs> he gets like a drop of blood eye. off like the like like a foot of a crow or something yeah, yeah. and immediately he's I love that kind of like out. jerky like arm motion that he does those so zombies cool. are, cause it, they're they're also technically not zombies but like it's a zombie movie yeah 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 like, well an infection movie I guess but like my very thing is like they're right very they're very fast and very aggressive and they're not gonna eat you they're just gonna like rip you apart yeah which to me is like just worse like fuck that shit I'd rather just die yeah like, I, I would, would be I... at the bottom of a noose in two seconds like <laughs> My asthmatic self? What the fuck do you think I'm going to do? True, yeah. You, you're a walking buffet, let's be fair. What the fuck do you think I'm going to do? <laughs> I suppose, like, the, in, in that situation, like, whether you're fast or not, I think it's just better off being smart than it is being fast. You know what I mean? But if you're caught... Well, oh, yeah, no, if like, you're caught, you're o- fucked, but, like... But, like, in that open thing, though, right? Like, I think, like, right after that scene, he jumps out the cottage or whatever like that. Oh, yeah, and he just runs as fast as he fucking just, can. He's just running. And then I love that shot of the zombies All of the them along the side of the hill, running. yeah. Oh, God. It's so good. Horrifying. I would literally... I would just be like, just I'll take just stand me. there and just take me. Just take yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, it's like you're running into, like, completely unknown certain future. Like, where the mm-hmm. fuck are you even going to go on this boat? Everybody's yeah. already fucking dead. You know what the fuck happens to Killian Murphy and all them at the end of the first? Like oh, I know they what just happens. escape. No, they I know, just but escape. I'm like, where are they in the second movie? Where's all? I that? think they're up in like the Highlands of Scotland or something like that. Because they go up. <laughs> oh, to the Scotland. Highlands of Scotland. <laughs> no, but they oh, yeah, do. They, they do. go yeah, to yeah, yeah, because they go to that military base or yeah. at least that mansion where the military are. I kind of didn't like Twenty Eight Weeks Later. No, as I much didn't. As it's not my favorite. I preferred the Twenty Eight Days Later. Really creeps me out. Yeah. They're they're sorry. We're like kind of a little bit off topic, but not really. Um, but that scene where he walks into the the church mm-hmm. and he's just like hello and then you are right they just, father they just look up yeah the, the two just look up yeah creeps me and like one of them so is much. already like standing already he looking. immediately just like yeah and they're just standing there with the mouth open yeah oh it's so creepy yeah. it's so creepy i'm wondering how many like movies we're gonna get now like post pandemic with like empty streets and stuff oh, I'm, I'm so excited <laughs> yeah okay so the last one i want to <laughs> talk about is like we already did mention it, but Tatum's death. Mm-hmm. So this scene has thematically been literally like the butt of every meme oh, horsey. for a you horror scared movie. Me. You know what I mean? In scary movie, yeah. With the horse. <laughs> like it's just like you look at it and you think, "Aha! Your first option was go through the cat door." I mean, I okay. Girl. <laughs> I mean, she did try and just straight walk out and then she gets caught. Yeah. And like, yeah, th- like it is stupid, I guess. But like, I don't know, maybe would have like taken one of the glass bottles and like, st- like stabbed somebody maybe or. I would have taken one of those and rammed it down the person's throat. Put the mask on. Rip it off. Shove it down their throat. And that does actually happen a couple of times. And this is also kind of what can be seen as a stupid uh, decision, but mm-hmm. not really. When Sydney in the second movie, uh, you know, after the car crash with the two bodyguards die, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. she goes back because she wants to take the mask off. And I'm like, but that is the same as kind of effectively ending it because then you know who it is. Yeah. You know, and people think that was a stupid decision, but I'm like, no. I'm like, I would want to fucking know who was yeah, the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the last people were one of my friends and my fucking boyfriend, I would want to know. Plus, like, they're doing more kind of psychological stuff in the second one as in torturing Sydney with yeah, her Yeah, because she's had the hindsight. Yeah. So, yeah, people are, like, they throw that up against it's like, um, because they subvert that in the first movie by being like, oh yeah, of course it's going to be your boyfriend and mm-hmm. then they completely subvert it by having him get freed and then the second movie it's like, well, I was wrong the first time so, what the fuck? But with the Tatum death, I'm in the garage. I don't know, I might, I might have made a load of noise. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, but there is a party going on as well though. I don't, Oh, I don't know. I just wouldn't have gone for the thing. I would have, like, because temporarily, Ghostface was, um, 
Can you not wow, Nathan, please? very wow. professional. Um, mine was on silent before I got here. Wow, I might as well. I might as well just like you know stop. Uh, you know everything right now just because of that but i think i think what i would have done is i would have because i know he does he doesn't he backflips or he slips or something but he's temporarily down i would have jammed my hand right into that thing to open up the thing and run you know but like he wasn't like okay well he was literally on the floor but he wasn't like taken out like he was no, still he wasn't, conscious but temporarily for a second to say i think like i would have just because all you have to well, do is she that. does she does she runs over and like gets the little clicker thing or whatever like that and it like starts to go up a bit and then she gets she tries to go under and she won't fit under the, so then she tries to get to the flap and then he lifts it up like this mm. but my thought is like uh was the door locked or something like that because no. like but i don't know he just walks in he just walks in behind her he just opens it and then he closes the door i don't know if he locked it but he has his hand on the door yeah that is kind of a toughy one it's just thing because I suppose the only reason why we're sort of stuck with it is because it's a confined space. Yeah. Like there's yeah, like probably n- there's only size. one of two options to get out of the room unless yeah, you take the killer third and try to fucking kill the both. person, you know. But again, it's like I don't know how easily you would do that because she opened to that like she until she died thought it was Randy. Mm. You know, so I'm like I don't know how quickly you jump to like okay I'm gonna murder my friend mm-hmm. even though they're trying to fuck me up because I don't know. I think there's like a moment where she's like, okay, like he's fucking me up. Like where the knife kind of comes out and he cuts her on the arm. Mm-hmm. I think there's a moment between there and then like, okay, he's actually going to try and kill me. Yes. Like this is not just one, some kind of like fuck She gets joke. more serious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She even like decks him in the face at one point, I think. Or She throws the bottles and then he runs over to her. And oh, and the fridge. I'm thinking of the fridge. The fridge yeah. And she kind of gets like Which thrown I into love. a chair and stuff. I love yeah. it. Yeah. It's good. She really kind of gets some good hits in there. Mm. And then does really well but then of course obviously she, her neck is up. okay so <laughs> the which next would also thing, never happen the what? the weight of a garage door would never no. support Rosie no 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 chest. that would pull her right down yeah it would pull her down it would never lift her up uh, it would lift her up but not that high it wouldn't because the door her. would begin to lose pressure and then it would just pull her back down which happens after yeah. it happens or no no it's no, it she stays it, up that's there. it again yeah. i'm getting a freaking scary movie because oh. the fat chick she gets like one arm and her head through and it all just falls down on top of her. Um, <laughs> okay, damn, so... Rose McGowan's nipples in that movie. Yeah, where she walks perky. out full spice No bra, balls. no nothing. Yeah. No bra, no bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the next thing I really wanted to talk about is we want to talk about the polar opposite. Wise decisions that still fuck the person up. Uh-huh. Still. I think so the these obvious are the people is... that did mm-hmm. everything right... But still got fucked in the end. Yeah. You know? Where they Which tried all to do scarier. all the smart decisions. Exactly. Because, like, these are the people you immediately turn around. You're like... Oh. <laughs> uh, these are the people that you immediately turn around. You're like, yes. That you have your head screwed on right. You know what you're doing. And yet, it's still out of your control. Yeah. And, and I, think I think you have, like, kind of the, the classic example people kind of go to. Which yeah. is... Go ahead. Alien. Yeah. Sigourney Weaver as Ripley, Alien 1 and 2 now, because I actually just realized Alien 2. Yeah. But Alien 1 more specifically because she officially calls, I think she's the second in command. Captain, she's the second in command after Dallas. And she calls for quarantine guidelines. Yeah. Whoop, trigger point. Quarantine guidelines meaning that the person is not allowed on the ship, stay out for 24 hours, and then allowed to come back in. Mm. However, the difference is. The man's got a fucking thing on his face. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, like they're literally bringing like a visible organism onto the ship. Yeah. But I think Ash overrides her because he's science officer or something yes. like that. Yes. Or Dallas overrides her. I don't, wait, I don't know why she gets into. Because Dallas is still alive at that point. This is like. The, you like see, they're sort of her. very fearful that he is going to die. Yeah. They're, they're afraid that if. Uh, nothing is done he will die because it is constricting his airways yeah I think and pretty much they like only majority realize rules. later that the, the two kind of flaps on the face hugger yeah. are allowing him to breathe yeah so they at that point they're obviously panicking uh, they said like let him on so we can get this thing off his face yeah they bring him to like the and then bay Ripley's like uh, no, no you're bringing a fucking organism on here you're bro. literally bringing an alien on board we don't know what you're doing and she was right yeah you know I would say they all fucking die they, they all die die except for and her and one turns into an egg <laughs> yeah for real oh uh, I just no blood no Dallas but oh, um man. Oh. and Ripley like consistently stays smart um, through one to three because in Alien Resurrection that's not Ripley it's a clone. Uh, it's a clone yeah it's yeah clone. of course yeah, uh, yeah. 
but like it like totally not Ripley at all <clears throat> which I feel like people if they actually paid attention to the movies like I, would I'll be fair I did not know that was another Ripley uh, I mean like I seen that when I was very young so I did kind of really just didn't well, yeah, know there it was just, kind just of Ripley small to me lines, so yeah, that's yeah. like 2000 years in the future or some shit like that mm. but all of these first three movies take place over like the span of a week for Ripley yeah you know because she's in cryo sleep the whole time but um I I think Ripley is a really good standout because she consistent like she like never wavers. She's very like no, destroy it all or just don't go there. Yeah. And even in the second movie, she's like okay, once we leave this shit, we're nuking it for more. But everybody yeah. down there's already dead. Fuck this shit. You know? Yeah, because that's she does that in the end of the second film. Uh huh. Yeah, then she two, they, they nuke it off for and, more bit. Yeah, and they and even in the at the start up. of the second movie, she's getting shit because she uh, completely destroyed the Nostromo. Oh yeah, because the company uh, Wayland Yutani turns around and is like, um, mm-hmm. excuse me, uh, no, we need to get our assets back. Give us your license, mm-hmm. bitch. <laughs> they pretty much fuck her over, like serve them in, and then she's like, they don't believe her. She concerns them, and no, yeah, because they don't fucking believe her. Even though we find um, out in the end, it was them who actually went there anyway to mm-hmm. like find it like ash was there entirely with the purpose of extracting this mm-hmm. well no after the fact they didn't know they didn't go into space to capture an alien yeah, yeah, yeah but he was given orders once they found out there was some kind of thing down there to bring it back yeah you know but he's also not human yeah so like i don't think he's explicitly evil he's kind of just a tool used by the upper ups that are evil it's really just people are bad people yeah man fuck robots human race man (laughs) (laughs) race speaking of not being human (laughs) here's our next one rj mccready when he did the thing so this 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 decision where uh the whole point is the alien is hiding among the men Uh and uh it's hiding in plain sight because it's doing it so well that it's mimicked the dna perfectly and it's it's hiding among us. I would have finished doing and the blood he test. Does, exactly. He does the smart thing and he knows from previous test results that this thing reacts defensively to any type of thing. And it's not just because it's one organism. Everything is a separate organism. Mm-hmm. But it collectively works together. And then he decides we're going to draw blood from everyone. Yeah. And we're going to say Everybody nut my ass and I'll tell. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And he does the smart <laughs> thing, but the problem is it still leads to the death of I think five five men, four men. Well the thing that actually pisses me off with that with the thing is because like I know people kind of like say yeah. Oh I, I love that effect though, of yeah. the like anti gravity just to like flying up onto the yeah, ceiling. Smack it but up. But my thing it. is like, okay, we didn't finish that blood test. Even yeah. though somebody showed themselves as a thing, mm. I still would that would have been a consistent thing. Yeah. Every time somebody dies we're gonna keep blood testing. You know, and they don't. You know, and then again, like, I, I suppose, like, yeah, it's on purpose that it's left kind of uh, completely to, ambiguous. Which is who is who, yeah. Because he could totally be the thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He's just our main character, like, that we're working through. But then I think... Um, oh, but we also don't thing? see him all the time. He does disappear out into the snow yeah. as well. So, um, and that's what Carpenter did. He said he left it openly ambiguous in order to... You know, but I've seen people theorize, and that's the thing. I hate when people theorize on things that are like intentionally supposed. Wasn't to be there matched. an earring or something? The other guy that's with him. Well, he's but I forget his name again. He's that uh, David, um, the actor. The... I like him. He's really cool. But people are like, oh well, when he breathes, there's no cold air. Coming. Like there's yes. no breath. Yeah. But I'm like, okay, I don't think they did all that shit on purpose. Mm-hmm. Sometimes shit is just supposed to be ambiguous. We're not, yeah. we're not always supposed to have answers to everything. Yeah. You know, that's so like, don't try and figure out David Lynch shit. Like, he literally doesn't even know what it means most of the time. It's yeah. weird for weird shit. But, um, yeah. Also, Kurt Russell, come and beat me up, bro. <laughs> okay, well, here's a really modern one for you. So, Lee Winnell's The Invisible Man. Loved it. Okay, fantastically smart. Thought it was amazing. Mm-hmm. Really well done. And fun. Very, very fun. Uh, and at a point, frightening as well. Yeah. Um, so she did the smart thing. Cecilia, uh, continuously, obviously beaten down by the invisible man, mm. uh, Adrian, uh, does the smart thing, meets up with her sister in a public space. But was it Adrian? Well, no, uh-huh. we realized that it wasn't. It was uh, her. You yeah, know, the invisible first. man. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the point yeah. is she does the smart thing and she goes to a public place Yeah. and she does everything correct. She knows that if he exposes himself, he'll do it there and he'll do it in a way that he won't be able to hide from it, basically. Yeah. 
but she doesn't think that too far in advance at that point. She just knows that if she's in a public place, he won't do anything. But unfortunately, he does. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, he does. And he so good. slits his sister's throat. Yeah. And then like she, right the he knife. shoves the knife into her hand. Yeah. And it's a genius stroke on on Adrian's behalf. But if I you're looking the at the sister character is going, like, oh, fuck. Because I think even the sister is like, oh, my God, you killed me. Yeah. So, like, and I, oh, movies like that are very frustrating and very, like, um, they kind of go against the, like, it doesn't matter if the person is smart because this person has, like, a, a fixture that isn't normal. Mm-hmm. They're invisible, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so it's like, it, he, like, turns it all back on her in, like, more than a few ways yes. of she's crazy and then she ends up getting like locked up like yeah. in a psych ward all this kind of shit like that and it's like I hate those movies where it's like oh just like believe her yeah but again it's like if you came to me well actually no I wonder like I think I'm like a little bit more I think like we're kind of a little bit more open minded that way that if you came to me and you were like like I know you're not a bullshitter so I know if you came to me and some supernatural shit had come like obviously there'd be like doubt because like I would have to see it for myself yeah but I wouldn't be like you're fucking crazy psych ward <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> yeah yeah. That's crazy. Need a straight check. But, um... <laughs> for real, I think, like... Oh, the, the movies are so frustrating. And it mm. does work out. And then at the end, with like, the twist. And it's kind of like, oh, shit. Because he's, like, locked in the wall. But, like... Which, again, is kind of like a... But was that all set up anyway? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I would have killed his ass anyway. So, one that I was consistently thinking about for a while, and I always thought it was super, super smart. Again, it's sort of referencing, like, aliens and things like that. Uh-huh. Cause, um, they, but the film Splinter. You remember that? Yeah, with the... Little kind of the sticky, black, crawly, gooey things. Yeah. yeah. So, basically, the idea is that creature can see body temperature, or, or it's attracted to things that are hot, uh-huh. uh, have a heat signature. Uh, so the protagonists get the idea of lowering their body temperature by wearing ice packs all yeah. around them. And he's connected with um, a, a little breathing tube that says like his breath is getting colder. He's, he's lowering his body temperature. But he tries to travel to the car in order to turn that on so everyone can just make a break for it and they go. Yeah. However, the issue is when he gets to the car, there's no keys. <laughs> so again, it's in essence, they did everything right. They just still fucked up and they ended up having to he ends up dying immediately and then they blow everyone to hell like and all then, like cracked yeah. up yeah do you know what that's actually a great little kind of I feel like it's, very it's largely a forgotten unknown gem. movie it's a yeah. great one it it's, really is it's very simple it's like hour and a half I think the whole thing is on YouTube um, and it's all based in this little clerk store at some random petrol station yeah it's a nice little it's setup great. with a creepy little monster there's yeah. like the like I, I don't even it takes, see it completely. Yeah, it's it like, like takes hidden. a bunch of different forms. But like yeah. one of the one of the cool ones is like I think it's like a like it's like three fingers yeah. or like two fingers and a thumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just kind of running around. Oh, it's Very great. um, what's it? What's it? Uh, thing from, thing from Adam's family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the hand from Idle Hand. So here's some really quick ones for you. Okay, distracting Freddy with humiliation. Freddy versus Jason. <laughs> you just a little bitch. By the way, I heard you had a small dick. <laughs> You're not even scary. <laughs> You're trying to compensate, Mr. Kruger. <laughs> you got this teensy little thing. Jason's got this big old. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, the part in that that kills me is not even the when she gets literally folded in half. It's the when she gets um. It's the when, it's the impact of when she hits the thing when and she, she goes yeah come on yeah and just falls to the ground and oh, I. <laughs> Freddie versus Jason so much I like yeah. actually don't even have a bad word to say about it it's yeah, one yeah. of my favorite yeah, movies yeah. <laughs> just cause it's so dumb but it's so like it's so right, early 2000s so nostalgia yeah. as well yeah you know and I think we get like kind of one of our best versions of Freddy actually we in really there do. he's scary we really, really do. he's scary again creepy he's yeah. got demon teeth he's kind of new nightmare Freddy kind of demonish yeah I think at the end we do get full like demon Freddy like with like yeah, pointed like, ears and shit pointed chin and sharp teeth yeah, yeah. I do think that White this is eyes. genius, specifically because Freddy in, uh, like, I think we even mentioned this in episode, uh, 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 like, whatever, or something of, like that. of our, uh, you know, Nightmare 2 and the Nightmare 1, where yeah. Freddy does become sort of a parody of himself. Uh, and he, he, he not only, like, uh, torments and kills his victims, he humiliates them. Yeah. So I think it was a great, uh, a great twist for them, because Kia 
Uh, Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland. I love her. Stone Cold. <laughs> um, love that. Love that early 2000s Kelly Rowland. Um, Where the fuck is Kelly Rowland now? Where is she at? Really? Where is she music, that bitch at? Um, but I think that's so amazingly interesting to suddenly turn that on Freddie. Yeah. And humiliate him to distract him so they can, you know, fucking you light the place up you know yeah. I think that's that's genius but obviously she still gets killed also like I love you guys like I'm talking to you and like friends mm. I'm not fucking going out there and doing that shit oh we she can, knows she's guess gonna what? die we can think of something else yeah. besides me killing myself for all of you people <laughs> yeah fuck that shit oh you want me to go out in the middle of the two killers so you guys can save each other mm-hmm. Will and Lori fuck you <laughs> You weren't even around, bro. Yeah, yeah. I've been with this girl. I've been her friend. Why don't you fucking sacrifice yourself? Yeah. Mr. Weston Hills, bro. <laughs> ah, Crazy ass. Love it. As if. I'm the one black chick in this movie and I gotta fucking sacrifice myself for you hetero white people. <laughs> As if. My guy that I was fucking with that was fucking, we were having shit and then ended up having like a nice little dynamic. Uh. My dude is fucking dead. Bled out. Bled dead. Fuck out with a smile on his face. That was yeah. really sad. <laughs> <laughs> why, hey, guess what? Why don't we leave Camp Crystal Lake and let these two fucks fight it out? Yeah. I mean, why that's where it's here? all going anyway. Why are we here? Why are we still here, Lori? <laughs> Lori! Fuck's sake. Um, okay. Bland ass kill. So the surprise ambush in Doctor Sleep. Okay, I like Bush. Fantastic idea. Uh-huh. Amazing. Yeah. But it still kills one of the protagonists. Still ends up in their death. But I think that was kind of like a a known thing. I think No, I totally get it knowing... obviously from reading the book, but I think in the film they did everything right and then obviously it still goes wrong for them because someone dies. Uh-huh. You know. Uh-huh. Plus I fucking hate that little shit. That telepathic little shit that gets people to do shit. You know, when she's like, You're feeling sleepy. I love you're her. Feeling horny. I love her name though. What's Abra. her name? Again? Abra. Yeah. No, not Abra. The the blonde haired chick. Oh, Annie. She's um oh snake bite uh Annie. Yes, that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I just immediately like snake bite Andy. Fucking hated her. Oh, no, I, I love hated it. Her. I love it. And then I love the way she's like, and she's like, kill yourself yeah. or she's shoot yourself or something, and he ends up like blowing his brains out. And I, I was like, it. fuck. God damn it. Uh, no, you know? I loved it. Like, and uh, it's weird. I really, really, really expected to not like Dr. Sleep, but mm. I really, really I enjoyed it. It was Dr. a good Sleep. movie. It was really, we, we saw that. No. Oh, we saw no. The Shining together. We saw The Shining, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, boom, Oh, so boom, good. Boom, but like, oh, and I love that when he, she goes boom, to like go with the axe and yeah. like, he, I think she gets it in the knee or in the shoulder or something mm. like that. In oh, the shoulder, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And like, um, I don't know. I liked the idea of it being kind of like a... Well, no. I hated the line over he's like, they're not hungry. They're starving. Oh, God. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then, like, all the like the ghosts show up and, like, pull, like, Rose apart. Which yeah. I kind of liked. I was like... It was kind of like a an okayish ending. Um, but also, I, I don't really expect much of endings for movies anymore. Yeah, I, I'm true. good to have, like, a good, like, hour and a half middle and whatever with the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um... Yeah, he fucking dies. Yeah. Spoiler alert. But like, <laughs> yeah, he fucking gets his ass killed. How does Abra even get home? Uh, Abra's out in the Colorado mountains. Fire, like, the the uh, yeah, fire yeah, yeah, rescue yeah. service was on the way. Uh, I yeah. love that as a name, though. For a kid's magic. Yeah, Abra. Cool. Yeah. Also, check out the, you know, the, the singer Abra. I love her. I'll link you. If y'all don't listen yeah. to Abra, listen to Abra. She's cool. cool. She's in that movie, Assassination Nation. Which I vote that we should have on the podcast soon. It's really, really fucking good. Yeah. I know you mightn't consider it a horror, but it very definitely is. It's kind of like The Purge, but like, um, more fun. It's like yeah. if The Purge and like, Clueless were like, it, literally, it's like a mashup <laughs> yeah, 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 between yeah. like The Purge and Clueless. Yeah. It's really fucking good. Right, great soundtrack. Okay. Great costuming. Okay. Platform. So here's something that I wanted to do, and I think it's going to be great. So here's a scenario uh-huh. that you're in a horror movie. Uh huh. And are you going to, here's the thing are you going to make a stupid decision uh-huh. or are you going to make a smart decision? So uh-huh. here's the scenario pre existing horror movie or. No, this is something, something I've made, made up. up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So don't associate with a horror movie. I don't have one for you just, just yet. I'll think that's about okay. what's happening. That's okay. So don't associate with any horror movies. It's just you in your house. Okay, blank mind. Okay. Give me... Oh, oh, okay. So it's my house. Your house. Okay. Okay. 
Go for Eyes it. Eyes are closed. Best. Okay, killer's at the front door. Mm-hmm. All right. But what you time of day is it? Uh, night time. Okay. So killer's at Am the I front alone? door, but yes. Okay. Killer's at the front door, but you don't know that he's there at the front door. Okay. Uh, you've dealt with the killer all night. Friends have died. Oh, it's blah, the end blah. of the night. Yeah, it's the end of the movie. So this is like it's it's do or die. It's the final bitch. chase. You're gonna either you're gonna walk away from it or he's gonna get you. Where am I? You're in the kitchen. Oh, okay. A fr- a killer is at the front door. It's the only exit to the he- from the house, and the house is on fire. Your only option to defend yourself is a heavy book. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I can go with that. <laughs> yeah. And I can That's, do whatever I want to. Yes. Like within, like human, like w- Within reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Slasher film. Not supernatural. Slasher. Okay. I'm going to hop the fence at the back of my thing, hop into my neighbor's garden. No, no, no. The front door is the only option to get out. That makes no sense. My house is on fire. Your house like is a, on fire. But I have a bunch of different exits. That, 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 I said that front door is your only option to leave, but you don't know the okay. door is at the front door. I don't know the killer's at the front door. And I, all I have is a book. A heavy ass book. Think of the Bible that you have. Can I operate around the house very quickly? Not grabbing anything else. Yes, okay. okay. But you still can only lead through the front door. Okay, I throw the book through the kitchen window out the back. I'm not hopping. No, I'm not hopping out the kitchen window. Let me make my decision. In hopes that the killer will think that I'm escaping at the back distraction hopefully that the killer will go around my side gate which i guess like whatever um and go to the back or i will try and make some like help help like i'll try and make some very karen halloween 2018 <laughs> i will but seriously i think <laughs> yeah, like yeah, distraction yeah. is the, like the better way to do that uh-huh. um because if this is not a supernatural killer it's just a person yeah it's just just people a guy baseline with a can be kind of stupid especially yeah, yeah. with adrenaline running through yeah um yeah, some kind of distraction, trying to get at the front. And also just making as much noise as possible as I yeah, possibly yeah. can the entire time. Screaming belligerent shit, you know. Um, oh, have this as well. Mm. I, my body is on the staircase. I've been impaled through the head on okay. one of the, uh, uh-huh. uh, you know, those things, the railings. Okay, I point I've been and laugh. pushed through and I've been impaled on it. I point and laugh. <laughs> 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 um... Well, I don't care in the moment. I mean, I'm trying uh-huh. not to fucking die. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs are gone, by the way. They're safe. Oh, yeah, I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not dead. I wouldn't do that, ever. Tie two dogs together and then chuck so. The two of them are smaller than us, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and then, honestly, I think I would be... It. Okay, so if a situation occurred, killer's at the back, and I go at the front, and he hears that happening... Altercation. So, yeah, scuffle. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to bite your throat out. Like, okay. I'm, I'm going to bite your neck out. Uh-huh. I'm going to blind you with my thumbs. Yeah. I'm going to do, like, whatever I can. Uh-huh. To, like... Like, I think I would just go feral. I'm going to go medieval, yes. But, um... <laughs> yeah, I think I would go crazy. And then I would want to make sure who... It, I would want to know who it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, but uh, I would try not kill them. Because well, if you bite the throat out, I mean, of okay, I would tr- die. okay, I would try in some way break legs or something like that because I because them. I said this last week, um, the idea of me then calling the police, long shot, um, the idea of me calling the police, <laughs> and then them coming to my house and there being like eight dead bodies, all of my friends, and then some person in the costume. Of course, yeah, yeah. I'm complicit i'm gonna be the last person left alive i'm gonna be the key witness uh-huh. and like fuck that shit so i would rather be like this dude this dude right here yeah. killed him and i kept him alive you know i broke both of his ankles with his fat ass <laughs> um, <laughs> or do the thing that i think you're taught to do when like you're in a kidnapping or a kind of creep situation like that is act crazy yeah because realistically if i was in my house and somebody broke in i would act fucking insane yeah go full carrie white's mom um throw up all over myself, shit on the floor, piss every place. But seriously, I would just act fucking mental. Yeah. I think I could realistically scare somebody if they came into my house, like, not expecting some freak shit. Yeah. You know? I can okay. get very Catholic right. at, the, at the drop of a dime. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, <laughs> fair enough. That okay. works. I can see that. I can see that, uh, like, the final moments, like, Dawn approaches, that final moments, he's, 
he's on top of you, mm-hmm. he's trying to strangle you. No, this is not sexual. And um, oh yeah, what happens if he strangles me? I fucking come. <laughs> 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 Actually, me and Lena have this uh, situation. Um, if we're ever getting like manhandled by cops or whatever, you just like, mm. <laughs> oh, you, like you just lean into it. You like that and shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you know what I do? I might rip the book in half so I have more chances to like have distractions yeah, versus yeah. like throwing my one thing like yeah, out and then it's gone and then I yeah. have nothing. You wouldn't go for the whole in the eyes kind of thing. <sighs> Or I, I mean, maybe. Punch him in the throat. I think, like, oh, it dep- also depends on what shoes I'm wearing. If I'm wearing my new rocks, I could definitely break somebody's legs with those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know? Break at least one of the legs. Yeah. Just because I Because all also... you realistically have to do is get your heel in between both of the knees and Call get your other foot and kick yeah. it inwards. Yeah, just fuck him up. Yeah. Break both of the knees. Yeah. Or something like that. Like, sure, even if you broke one of the knees, he'd be in such pain that he wouldn't be able to move. I think that would always be my main thing. It's like, I don't want to kill the killer because I yeah. want the killer to like be in fucking jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, fuck that shit. Also, I don't want to be fucking... Like, like that would be worse. Like, what's her fucking name? Um, fucking Linda Chamberlain, the chick whose fucking baby got eaten by a dingo. Yes. And then she went to fucking jail for it for yeah. ages. Fuck that shit. Dingo ate my baby. I want the fucking... Sounds Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... A dingo got my answer room. Um... <laughs> but like no I don't I want the dingo I don't <laughs> fuck the baby I want the dingo you know I yeah I want some yeah. like proper like irrevocable truth that like I didn't fucking do this also yeah. it was that guy also yeah. my friends are dead also who's gonna clean this shit do you have fucking sticky blood <laughs> IRS claims that seriously do you have fucking sticky blood is? I'm gonna dull I can't be fucking affording a cleaner over here <laughs> Well, who's going to take these fucking dead bitches out of my fucking house, bro? I'm not calling the ambulance. That's a hundred quid. <laughs> also, why are you calling an ambulance for a dead person? True. No, you that call head the cops. Is over the there. cops would ring you them call out. Cops. I suppose, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was pretty good. Yeah. It's a good answer. Do, do you want a scenario? Go ahead. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I close my eyes. I'm listening. The woods. We're in the woods. We're camping. Say mm-hmm. it's just like me, you, and like one other person. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a like a, a Blair Witchy kind of situation. Okay. Okay. Cameras out or just? No, we're just chilling. The situation. We're just chilling. We're in bed. Cool. Okay. You hear you hear like screaming and shit like that, right? Uh-huh. Okay. You you hear me screaming from uh-huh. in the woods. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, the other friend isn't there, and I'll run have... in the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> but I also don't blame you though, like. I just I just run as far as I can in the opposite direction. I am not going towards the sound of screams yeah. and like blood curdling and exactly. I'm not going near that at all. But I wouldn't. Uh, it's the, could exactly be a bear. Like, could be a Blair Witch. Could be a murderer. Could be a me. rapist. Whatever. Oh, what about a bear witch? Big hairy chested <laughs> bear, or big hairy chested witch. God, you gotta always turn it that way. They did say that she was covered in hair. In hair, yeah. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> what if the witch is like into kink? Oh, she's well. She well is. <laughs> I mean, she tied all of those men together. She was tied the fuck up. Yeah. It's cyclical. She loved it. She, it's, it's in a circle. She, she just turned it around and she was like, yeah, you know what? I actually really liked that. <laughs> yeah, man. She loved that. I, I'm telling you, all okay, king comes from childhood. Damn right. But, um, also, like, in that kind of situation, my thing is, like, I think we were talking about this last week. It's something where I was like, look, I'd... I think I'm more useful to go run and get help. Because me personally, if it's me versus like a big dude, I probably won't be able to like do that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, um, with my hands. Mm-hmm. With my butthole. Though. <laughs> 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 no, but for real, I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me go run and like get the police call the, like get the fucking, get the sirens going versus yeah. like, then all of us are dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, fuck that shit. Yeah. You know, I mean... For sure, I would. I would literally just run as fast as I can in the opposite direction. Hopefully, I have my phone. I may call the cops. Get to a road. Or something. Literally, yeah. Yeah, yeah get to a road. Flag down. Help immediately. Try to like Flash rectify the situation. Like later. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's for sure. Like, cause <clears throat> you're not gonna help anyone out in the dark with no flashlight. Yeah. Just your phone running around in the dark trying to find someone screaming. Fuck that. You're not gonna help. You're not gonna help. Let's just get it on the record. I fully don't expect you to like. If you can see that I'm already, if I'm cut in half or something like that. Now, there'll be two different types of screaming. It's blood-curdling scream or it's the hot kind of scream. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm having a 
fix it with an evil then I tree. definitely were wrong. <laughs> I'm definitely going in the opposite direction then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. For the record, if we're like ever like in a situation, you see me, I'm like cut in half. I'm Betty Ripsome. I'm already dead. Yeah. Don't try and fucking help me. Get the fuck no, out of here. You're gone. I'm already you're dead. Gone. But if I have like, if if we're running, if we're side by side, and I fall over a little bit, I'm expecting you to help me. Up. Of course I would. But if my if both my legs are broken, I'm leaving you. Leave me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? Because like, if I stay, we're. Both, both just as dead. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you might as well just kill yourself right there and then. Mm-hmm. You know, fuck mm-hmm. that shit. Yeah. Just kill yourself, why don't you? <laughs> God. <laughs> well, my legs are broken. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. God damn. That's some <laughs> fucked up shit. Final words. Kill yourself. That's terrible. <laughs> so, next month in lieu of it still being summer, which means out and stuff <laughs> um, we're gonna do creature feature month yeah yes. yes which is like I suppose like very very broad but um sticking to oversized animals big creatures kind of no people no human killers in these nuclear shit that you know turns monsters it turns ants into giant ants into gender shit neutral like ants, that, yes. you know <laughs> gender <laughs> <laughs> so, next week we are going to be bringing you a childhood favorite for me and you and me yeah. um 1999's lake placid Love i it. cannot wait it's I so good ah! yeah i watched the movie like a billion times as a kid it's great so um little synopsis here for y'all a giant man-eating crocodile attacks innocent people at black lake a vacation spot in maine Soon, a dysfunctional group of experts is called in to end the beast's reign of terror. And starring Bridget Fonda and Betty White. Fuck yes, bro. Love Betty White. I, yes. love, I love that a trope in this movie is heads being thrown at her. <laughs> she, yeah. I think there's a line in there where she goes, I have a thing about heads being thrown at me. <laughs> like, <laughs> like that's just happened to her all the time as a kid. Two words you just said there. Black Lake. Oh. I know. Pejorative, please. God. And then what was the other one you said? What was the end of that synopsis? Oh, ragtag bunch of fucking... Di- it's like Maine... Uh, oh, Maine, there you go. Fucking... fucking it, it always happens in Maine. There's always in- giant man-eating monsters in Maine. The rain in Spain falls mainly in... Maine. Maine. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the plane from Spain. Something about Maine. <laughs> Stephen King. Well, that's it for today. Um, you were listening to The Slab, a topic discussion episode where we pro postulate and another P conjugated verb there uh, <laughs> that I can't remember. Uh, pro postulate and something else. Ponder. Ponder. There you go. Very we right. should just find P, P verbs <laughs> for each episode. Uh, so let us know what you think. What would you do in a situation what would you do if a killer came to your house? If you look How back you and your survive? friend's legs were broken, would you just kill yourself or would you keep walking? Would you Would you save them or would you sacrifice yourself? Or would you be the what killer? Would you do? Or would you be the killer? What would you do? If you were in a horror movie, what would you do? Would you make dumb decisions or informed smart decisions? <gasps> <laughs> you know you're in a cult. You know there's only one way you're going to go. <laughs> I actually saw a thing that Midsommar is supposed to be like a good gauge for how easily you are influenced into being like inducted into a cult or not. Yeah. <laughs> like, depending, bombing, on who, man. Yeah, depending on whose side you're on let us know what you think leave the comments like subscribe if you have any future topics for us to discuss let us know uh, or or any movies that you'd love for us to hear let us know if you have a creature feature that you want us to hear or that you want to hear us discuss about or laugh about or shite talk let us know leave it in the comments leave it in the comments let us sound off you know baby um, and don't forget to uh, follow us uh, on our Instagram page at There Here Podcast uh, to for some more updated daily content. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you've been listening to There Here Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.